गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज अनु डागर एंड आई एम फ्रॉम बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री ऑनर्स थर्ड ईयर एंड टूडे आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग ए वीडियो फॉर विजुअली इम्पेयर स्टूडेंट्स ऑन टॉपिक वाटर पॉल्यूशन वाटर इन अबंडेंट अमाउंट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर यूज इन एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड हाउस होल्ड आफ्टर यूज हाउ एवर इट गेट्स हाईली पोल्यूटेड द वेरियस वाटर पोल्यूटेंट्स कैन बी क्लासीफाइड इन टू एज मैनी एज टेन कैटेगरीज they are highly discussed below in various details various water pollutants first sewage and other oxygen demanding wastes sewage from municipalities and other oxygen demanding waste from industries and agriculture comprises of organic matter which undergoes oxidation readily under the action of microorganism these wastes are generally disposed of by dumping them into nearby rivers if the amount of sewage or other waste discharge is relatively small the dissolved oxygen is sufficient to convert carbon into carbon dioxide sulfur into sulfate phosphorus into phosphates and nitrogen into ammonia and nitrates and the river is not so badly polluted if however the amount of discharge is heavy and the dissolved oxygen becomes sufficient carbon is converted to methane and nitrogen compounds are converted to amine which gives offensive odor of rotten fish decaying in a sea pool the sulfur compounds change into hydrogen sulfide which gives smell like that of rotten eggs and phosphor compound produced given a wormy odor thus sewage and other oxygen demanding wastes become water pollutants on two account first they give rise to compounds which have an extremely annoying odor second they deplete the dissolved oxygen from water which is rendered harmful because water devoid of dissolved oxygen cannot sustain aquatic life it affects or even kills fish and other aquatic life beings second infectious agents sewage from municipalities is almost invariably associated with disease micro microorganism this is due to the fact that in a fair sized community a few inhabitants at any given time must be suffering from diseases such as dysentery typhoid cholera etc the fecus and urine of such patient would contain disease microorganism which are transmitted through water supplies thus waste water from municipalities would almost invariably carry agents which produces disease in other living beings men and animal including livestock third is nuclear nu- plant nutrients the presence of plant nutrient in lake and slow moving water support high pollution of aquatic plant which on decay produce disagree disagreeable odor not only this these plant also deplete dissolved oxygen making the survival of aquatic life problem problematic the enrichment of water by nutrient is known as eutrophication lakes and slow moving water is the eutrophication and over period of several millennia they get converted into swamp and marshes Eutroph- eutrophication has an adverse effect on fish as well the aquatic plant which bloom in lake sink in autumn and water and decay the next summer depleting oxygen from the lower colder parts of the lake the cold water fish which according to darwin's theory get habituated to require more oxygen cold water dissolve more oxygen for their growth have to face shortage of dissolved oxygen as a result the cold water fish lose out to warm water fish which needs less oxygen human who prefer prefer cold water fish are thus deprived of water getting their choice fourth exotic organic chemical the exotic organic chemical include pesticides surfactants among us detergents many industrial products and several decomposition products of other organic compounds analysis of polluted water reveals the presence of a wide cross section of these compounds and also many others these organic chemicals are generally toxic to fish some of these are toxic even at extremely low concentration around 1 ppm with the fast development of chemical industry several new organic chemical compounds are introduced every year which may find their way into river and lake since the effect of these new compound on natural ecosystem may not be known there is every possibility that an irreparable 
irreparable damage is done before scientists realize it. Fifth, inorganic minerals and chemical compounds. A large variety of inorganic chemicals find their way into normal water from municipal and industrial wastewater and urban runoffs. These pollutants injure or kill fish and other aquatic life and also render the water unfit for drinking or for industrial use. A prominent example is the presence of mercury in water. At one time, it was believed that metallic mercury sink into the sediments and remain there, chemical, remain there in chemically inert metallic form. But now it is known that anaerobic bacteria in bottom muds convert inorganic mercury into methyl mercury. CH3H positive which can lead to mercury poisoning in living beings. In petroleum drilling, brine is discharged along with crude oil when the latter is pumped to the surface. Sometimes the volume of brine may be more than three times the volume of crude oil recovered. The brine is a potential pollutant for water. Mineral containing sulfur on coming in contact with air and water yield sulfuric acid which is carried into lakes and river by water draining from the mines. The presence of the acid affects aquatic life. In cold countries, NaCl and CaCl2 are added in large amount to melt snow from the road in winter. These salt eventually run off the road and contaminate well water and also find their way into lakes and rivers and seriously affect the aquatic life. Some other metal whose compounds frequently act as water pollutant as lead, arsenic, and cadmium. Lead Compounds of lead which enter into water are PBCl2, PBBr2, PBBrCl, and PBO, etc., which originate from lead mineral. Lead in form of PBOH twice gets its entry into water from the lead pipes. Excessive intake of lead by human causes disruption of synthesis of hemoglobin. It also results in loss of appetite, anemia, kidney malfunctioning, nervous disorder, and brain damage. Arsenic. The main source of arsenic compound in water are pesticide, fungicide, herbicide. Arsenic contamination may also occur due to discharge of some other industrial waste. Dissolution of ar ar arsenic mineral in is another source of arsenic compound. Cadmium. Cadmium finds its way into water from industrial discharge from NICD batteries. It is highly toxic. Excessive dose causes kidney malfunctioning, anemia, disorder of bone marrow, etc. It may be mentioned that according to the International Register of Potential Toxic Chemicals of United Nations Environment Program, there are nearly 5 million known chemicals in the world today and about 40,000 new chemicals are added to this list every year. Of these, about 75,000 chemicals are in e common use amongst which a large number of positively known to be toxic. A brief list of toxic elements whose toxic ions are most commonly present in municipal and industrial water is given below in table. Element arsenic sources pesticides, chemical waste, mining byproducts. Adverse effect enzyme inhibitor. Element beryllium sources nuclear power and space industries, coal. Adverse effect toxic carcinogenic. Element is boron sources industrial waste, detergent formulation and coal. Adverse effect toxic to some plants. Element cadmium sources industrial discharge, metal plating, nickel cadmium batteries, mining waste. Adverse, adverse effect causes high blood pressure, kidney malfunctioning, anemia, disorder of bone marrow. Element chromium sources metal plating industries. Adverse effect CR6 is carcinogenic, etc. Arsenic is well known the normal growth and development of animal and human being and brought about by specific enzyme present in their bodies. The toxic ion in generally attack the active sites of these enzymes, react with SH group of the enzyme and thus cause their complete activation. The functioning of metalloenzyme is inhibited by the replacement of harmless metal ion of the enzyme by the toxic metal ion. It is to be noted that it is not the presence of a particular chemical but is it is but its concentration which actually matters in chemical toxicology thus elements such as as al sb ba -E co cu etc which are listed above environmental hazards act as nutrient in trace concentration and are essential for normal growth and for development of animals and human beings 
Arsenic trioxide, a deadly poison, is known to act as tonic at trace concentration. This means that for pollution control, we have only to control the concentration of toxic elements. Any number of toxic elements may be present in drinking water, but as long as their concentration are below the prescribed limits, they are harmless. The permissible limits for some common elements are laid down by the United States of Public Health Drinking Water Standards given in Table 3. The Bureau of Indian Standard Values, wherever available, also includes in table. The drinking water should be colorless and odorless. Its pH should be lie between 6 and 9. It should be free from harmful microorganisms and it is dissolved. Oxygen content should be lie between 4 and 6 ppm. It should not contain the above mentioned chemical beyond their permissible limits of concentration. Sixth, sediments. Sediments are particles of soil and mineral which are washed from the crop lands, underdeveloped land, unprotected forests, overgrazed pastures, strips, mines, roads, bulldozed urban area, etc. by storm and flood water. Sediment filled reservoir and stream channel plug and water filter erode power turbine and pumping equipment. And <clears throat> Reduce the amount of sunlight available to green aquatic plants. The sediment also cover the fish nests, the eggs laid by them in the water and their food supplies. This reduces the population of fish and shellfish. 7. Radioactive substance The radioactive substance from nuclear power plants wastes of uranium and thorium mining and refining and from industries and industries to ocean which utilizes radioactive minerals if carried by water become sources of harmful radiations. 8. Heat Large amount of water are used for cooling purposes in thermal and nuclear power plants. Water is also used as a coolant in some industries. Cooling water is thus discharged at a raised temperature. The increased temperature has several adverse effects on certain properties of water. The the rate at which the chemical reaction occurs increases considerably. This, this results in faster assimilation of water waste and hence faster depletion of oxygen, which affect aquatic life. The rate of evaporation also increases appreciably with increase in temperature. This results in greater waste of water in the form of its vapor and so on. 9. Oil Oil pollution results from the discharge of oil from oil tankers and offshore drilling rigs accidentally or intentionally. An example of accidental oil discharge was release of about 1 lakh meter ton of Kuwait oil on March 18, 1967 when the ship rag ran around a ground of Cornwall near England and broke into three pieces. The Royal Air Force spent several days trying to set out the oil fire with the high explosive. Even now, several large tanker accidents are occurring every year. The most serious environmental hazard in living history was caused by the spilling and burning of the tremendous quantities of oil emanating from the Kuwait oil wells, which were blasted off in the Gulf War by the Iraqi troops when they were forced to retreat. The awful hazardous pollution which was caused due to surrounding atmosphere and adjoining ocean are unprecedented. Enormous damage was done to aquatic life. Oil is also discharged from oil tanker intentionally. A tanker carrying a cargo of crude after discharging the oil at the sea ports fill up a tank with sea water to act as ballast on the return trip before the tanker's docks. The sea water ballots contaminated with the small residue of oil left in the tank is returned to the ocean. Some vessel which uses oil fuel also tend to produce oil slicks. When waste oil, sea water ballast is dumped into the ocean from their fuel tanks. The most adverse effect of the oil pollution is on the seabirds. The oil penetrates their feather, displacing the air, which is normally trapped in the feathers and provides buoyancy and insulation against cold. The elimination of entrapped air makes the bird colder and more susceptible to disease. In the absence of entrapped air, the bird experiences difficulty in flying. For instance, the one lakh bird lost their life when the Kuwait oil tanker met with an accident. Air, pollu air pollution adversely affects the other ocean life as well. Some of the consistent of oil such as 3,4 benzene prine are carcinogenic.
टेन डिटर्जेंट डिटर्जेंट आर कंप्राइज ऑफ सर्फ एक्टेंट्स दैट इज सरफेस एक्टिव एजेंट्स विच आर ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड हैविंग पोलर और हाइड्रोफिलिक ग्रुप सच एज सी ओ एच एंड एस ओ थ्री एच एंड एन एच फोर पॉजिटिव और नॉन पोलर ग्रुप्स सोलबल इन वाटर सम कॉमन डिटर्जेंट्स आर गिवन बिलो लीनियर एल्काइन सल्फोनेट्स एल्काइल बेंजिन सल्फोनेट्स एक्सेट्रा द सर्फेक्टेंट्स इन द डिटर्जेंट कोज ए वेराइटी ऑफ पोल्यूशन प्रॉब्लम सम ऑफ विच आर एज फॉलो फर्स्ट द सर्फेक्टेंट्स आर हाईली रेसिस्टेंट टू द एक्शन ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल एजेंट एंड दस टू नॉट अंडर गो बायोडिग्रेडेशन सिंस द सर्फेक्टेंट टेंट टू रिटेन देयर आइडेंटिटी देयर एलिमिनेशन फ्रॉम मुंसिपल वेस्ट वाई द यूजल ट्रीटमेंट बिकम प्रॉब्लमैटिक टू सर्फेक्टेंट टेंट टू इनिबेट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटांसिस प्रेजेंट इन द वेस्ट वाटर बाई फॉर्मिंग ए सोर्ट ऑफ एनवेलप अराउंड दैम विद द रिजल्ट दैट दीज सब्सटांस डू नॉट अंडर गो ऑक्सीडेटिव डिग्रेडेशन ड्यूरिंग द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेस्ट वाटर दिस सब्सटांस जनरली बींग टॉक्सिक कोज इज सीवियर वाटर पॉल्यूशन टू विच देर इज नो रेमेडी थर्ड बींग एक्टिव द सर्फेक्टेंट कवर द सर्फेस ऑफ द स्मॉल प्रैक्टिक पार्टिकल्स इन द कोलोडल सस्पेंशन देयर बाय स्टेबिलाइजिंग दैम कंसिडरेबली दीज कोलोडल पार्टिकल्स दस डू नॉट एग्रीगेट एंड हैंड्स कैन नॉट बी इजिली फिल्टर्ड ऑफ ड्यूरिंग द सब्सिक्वेंट ट्रीटमेंट द स्टेबिलाइज कोलोइडल पार्टिकल ऑल्सो रिड्यूज द एक्टिविटी ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल फिल्टर बैड्स एंड एक्टिवेटेड स्लच The most undesirable effect of the surfactant is their tendency to produce stable foam in rivers. Sometimes several meter high, especially at low gates, these foam extend over several hundred meters of the water. Treatment of domestic wet waste water. The concept the composition of municipal sewage depend largely on the wealth and habit of the municipal population, the amount of the nature of the industrial waste water added to the domestic sewage. Sewage treatment processes are designed to remove oxygen demanding organic waste suspending and dissolved solid and bacteria the treatment of processes are generally divided into three categories first primary process second secondary and tertiary treatment processes these are described primary treatment processes involve removal of grit screening grinding flocculation sedimentation and skimming system for grit removal and screening are designed to remove the largest suspending or floating material such as rags paper twigs wires roots glass and and other matters the material removed by screening and uh, are uh, are uh, incinerated or buried flocculation is carried out by agitating waste water by mechanical stirrer or air injection this causes small suspension solid to colloid and form bigger aggregates which settle down more rapidly sedimentation removal of suspended solid by gravitational settling is carried out in large basin having a continuous flow with detention time of 4 to 6 hour secondary treatment process include the use of biological method employing trickling filters and activated sludge plant the use of both technique is described below use of trickling filters comprises of beds of crushed stone embedded with biological slime waste water is allowed to percolate through these beds when the organic matter present in the water gets absorbed on the slime and under, undergo decomposition by bacteria and fungi present in the slime when the slime layer become very thick then slow slow off and can be easily removed activated sludge process this process involve continuous circulation of biological activity growth through waste water in the presence of oxygen supplied as the fine bubble of the comprised air the suspended and dissolved organic waste well aggregated and mix undergo absorption flocculation oxidation and biological degradation After a few hours, the sludge is transferred to the sedimentation tank and allowed to settle down. A part of the sludge, which is not rich in organism, used to seed the next batch of the waste from the primary settling tank. The activated sludge performs two functions. First, it clarifies the water by absorbing most of the colloidal and suspended solid on the surface of the sludge particle. Second, it causes the activate activation, oxidative degradation of the organic matter present in the waste. tertiary treatment process is advanced waste water treatment process this process aim at improving the waste water quality to the point at which it can be reused the increasing cost of the waste water supply and the increasing emphasis on the waste water quality are leading engineer to devise method for total recycling of decontaminated water some common advanced water treatment processes are discussed below chemical coagulation and filtration carbon absorption chemical oxidation ion exchange electrodialysis reverse osmosis etc
industrial waste water its contamination and treatment industrial waste water is invariably con- contaminated the nature of contamination depending upon industrial industries from which the waste water is obtained these aspects are discussed below briefly waste water from food processing industries food processing units such as beet sugar refining brewing distilling and canning etc dealing with meat and dairy products yield waste water which contain high content of dis- decomposable organic matter which leads to heavy oxygen depletion the dairy industry produces organic waste high in protein fat and lactose the beet sugar refinery industries produces waste have a high biological oxygen demand breweries and dis- distillation produces organic solid including fermented starch processing to food to produce corn or frozen products lead to large amount of wet solids the waste from meat processing industries are associated with the fl- blood fats protein feather and other organic waste and so on waste water from textile industry the waste water from the textile mill is generally alkaline and has a high biochemical oxygen demand the textile waste arises from the impurities in the fiber and from the chemical used in processing which is cooking in the cooking the fiber de- desizing the fabrics etc waste water from paper and pulp industries the effluent from paper and pulp industries contain chemical used in craft process bits of bark wood chips cellulose fiber and dissolved leggings waste water from chemical industries the waste water from chemical industries is very heavily contaminated the chemical plants manufacturing acids and base pesticides synthetic fiber detergents and many other organic and inorganic compound produce waste which are associated with a wide variety of contaminant numbering into thousand many of which are highly toxic waste water from petroleum industries waste water from oil drilling include drilling mods brine pumped out of the well along with the crude oil and some other oil as well as oil refineries and petrochemical plants yield a large number of contaminated such as hydrocarbon acids alkaline cyanides numerous sodium salts many of these compounds generate undesirable odors and taste and many of them causes fish flies to acquire adverse taste waste water other and from other industries waste water from other industries is associated with a wide variety of contaminated for instance leather tannery waste contains high content of solid salt salt causing where hardness sulfide chromium salts and lime these wastes have high biochemical oxygen demand radioactive waste originate from nuclear power plant and research laboratories using radio isotope soft drink bottling plant produces high alkaline waste with high bod from the washing of bottles which involve removal of cigarette butts paper and other debris left in the bottle by the previous user laundries have turbid waste that are alkaline and c- contain organic solid and so on treatment of industrial waste water it is evident from the above discussion that if industrial waste water is discharged into lakes and rivers or oceans such as such it would cause severe pollution the waste water thus has to be treated properly before it can be disposed of most of the water treatment method used by industries are in general the same as used for the treatment of municipal waste water however some specific treatment have been used with the advantage in specific cases for example while biological treatment are more suited for the wastes from the dairy and food industries chemical treatments have worked well for the waste from metal plating industries since large amount of water are required by many large industries there is great emphasis on subjecting industrial waste what waste to advanced treatment that is tertiary treatment to render the water suitable for use reuse these treatments are essentially the same as carried out in case of municipal waste water